Look to your covenant, O Lord, and forget not the life of your poor ones forever. Arise, O God, and defend their cause, and forget not the cries of those who seek you. Today we uh, commemorate the life of um, Edith Stein, known in religious life as St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, who was uh, a victim of the Holocaust. And so we gather in prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God be with each one of you. We pause now to reflect upon God's loving mercy. And call upon the grace of God to strengthen us in holiness. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O God, who brought the martyr, St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, to know your crucified Son and to imitate him even in death, grant through her intercession that the whole human race may acknowledge Christ as our Savior, and through him come to behold you forever, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, and now, Israel, what does the Lord your God ask of you but to fear the Lord your God and follow his ways exactly, to love and serve the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul, to keep the commandments and statutes of the Lord, which I enjoin on you today for your own good. Think, the heavens, even the highest heavens, belong to the Lord your God, as well as the earth and everything on it. Yet in his love for you, for your fathers, the Lord was so attached to them as to choose you, their descendants, in preference to all other peoples, as indeed he has now done. Circumcise your hearts, therefore, and be no longer stiff-necked, for the Lord your God is the God of gods, the Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome, with, who has no favorites, accepts no bribes, who executes justice for the orphan and the widow, and befriends the alien, feeding and clothing him. So you too must befriend the alien, for you were once aliens yourselves, in the land of Egypt. The Lord your God shall you fear, and him shall you serve. Hold fast to him and swear his name. He is your glory, he your God, who has done for you those great and terrible things which your own eyes have seen. Your ancestors went down to Egypt seventy strong, and now the Lord your God has made you as numerous as the stars in the sky. The word of the Lord. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. 
Glory the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. He has granted peace in your borders with the best of wheat. He fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and the ordinance to Israel. He has not done these for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. God has called you through the gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus and his disciples were gathering in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is to be handed over, and they will kill him, and he will rise again on the third day. And they were overcome with grief. When they came to Capernaum, the tax collectors of the temple tax approached Peter and said, Does not your teacher pay the temple tax? Yes, Peter said. When he came into the house, before he had time to speak, Jesus asked him, What is your opinion, Simon? For whom do the kings of the earth take tolls or census tax, from their subjects or from foreigners? When he said from foreigners, Jesus said to him, Then the subjects are exempt. But that we may not offend them, go to the sea, drop in a hook, and take up the first fish that comes up. Open its mouth and you will find a coin worth twice the temple tax. Give that to them for me and for you. The Gospel of the Lord. If the uh, people that we hear Moses addressing in the first reading, the reading from Deuteronomy, if all they heard was the first part uh, of the message of Moses, um, speaking about how God loved the Israelites and chose them first, uh, first among all the other peoples of the world, if that's all they heard, they might have gone away with, you know, all puffed up and feeling proud and special and, and unique. And indeed, they, they were. They were the chosen people. God had chosen them. But not just for their own benefit. As uh, the reading continues, Moses reminds them that God has chosen them as a people to show forth in their lives and their relationships with others Uh, the love of God, and especially the love and the care, the compassion God has for the foreigner, for the poor, for the downtrodden, and that they were to show forth that love, that compassion, that care in their own lives, and their own care uh, for other people. And so I'm not sure that uh, the Israelites, that, that Moses is addressing, fully understood the weight of the commission that was being given to them uh, by being chosen, the chosen of God. And so it is by the choosing uh, of us in our baptism that uh, we are chosen to show forth the love, the mercy, the compassion of God, uh, doing all we can um, as a, individuals and as a community uh, to show forth God's love, especially for those most in need, uh, most downtrodden, most rejected, uh, most hurting.
Let us offer our prayers, uh, bring our prayers before God. Praying especially for those who, um, who are poor and who are neglected in our world, and those who have um, been driven from their traditional homelands and who are refugees in our world, we pray. On this uh, day that we remember Edith Stein and, and uh, the persecution that she endured, we pray for all those who are persecuted in our world, especially those who suffer religious persecution, we pray. We pray for ourselves and for the whole church, that we, by our lives and words and actions, um, may show forth God's love and mercy and comfort, we pray. We pause now to uh, bring to mind those other prayers that we come with this day. For these we pray. <clears throat> We pray for Michael and for all we promise to hold in our prayers this day, we pray. O gracious and holy God, we lift these prayers to you. Hear our prayers, grant our needs, and send us forth to show forth your love. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. To you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed are you, God of creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Right now, brothers and sisters, that our offering may be acceptable to God the Almighty. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept these offerings of your church. For in your mercy you have given them to us to be offered, and by your power transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have given in him you have been pleased to renew all things, and you've given us a share in his riches. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with the angels and saints and the whole company of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Indeed, you are holy, O Lord. You are the source of all holiness, and we ask you to make holy these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup, 
Once again, he gave you thanks. And giving it to his disciples, he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have counted us worthy to be in your presence and to serve you. We pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We now join our voices to pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we might be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look then not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us share with each other some sign of the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may God bless you, the blessing of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the peace of God.